do you want a reminder as to why you don't want a Republican president? Do you want a reminder of just how batshit crazy Republicans are? Uh, they gave it to you last night. And uh, long-time listeners of this program know that I am, um, I am against the, de the death penalty, not just because it's been proven to kill innocent people. Uh, philosophically, I am against the death penalty. I do not think that um, the state should have the right to murder people, to kill people. I just don't think that um, that's what civilized societies do. I just don't think they do that. Uh, in Texas, apparently, they're not so civilized. And uh, in, uh, where is this, Simi Valley? Is that where Reagan Library is? Yeah, yeah. Uh, not so California. civilized either. Uh, just listen, uh, this is going to make you nauseous. If you didn't see the debate, this is going to make you nauseous. This was the loudest applause line of the entire evening. The loudest applause line. Governor Perry, question about Texas. Um, uh, your state has executed 234 death row inmates, more than any other governor in modern times. Have you, have you struggled to sleep at night? Um, How fucking insane is that? And I'm sorry to swear during the uh, free segment of the show, uh, but if you have children who heard that, I can assure you that my saying that word is far less obscene than a crowd of people cheering because this guy has the record number of executions. I mean, in what universe would people applaud because he's got the record number of executions. I mean, even if these people were all supporters of the notion that when someone kills a cop or when someone kills a kid or when someone does a heinous crime, people should be executed, in what universe do you applaud that wildly? The biggest applause line of the whole night because this guy has killed more people than any other governor like what like when what like where what is the i I, it, I can't even contemplate what goes through the mind of those people in the audience to spontaneously i mean if if they didn't think it was rude they would have been hooting and hollering yeah man this guy are you applauding like there were so many murders so many people got killed in Texas that we were able to kill 234 of their uh, the, the people who committed those things. Like, woohoo! I almost picture Yosemite Sam shooting his guns in the air. But it's it's more it's just it's just it's just bizarre. It's just bizarre. How much death are you applauding there? Man, you know, that probably means that there were whole families that were killed by murderers. Yeah! All right, play it from the beginning just so you can hear the disgustingness, and then we'll let um, Rick Perry pretend like he's solemnly thinking about this issue because I've got the life and death held in the crucible of my palm. Oh, and incidentally, um, there is strong reason to believe that Rick Perry not only executed innocent people but uh, quashed multiple investigations into proving the innocence of those people that he executed. Uh, and we'll put a link up on the site to a, a full rundown of that. But uh, that's why he's got to think about it. He wanted to keep his gamer score high. I got to. He wanted the record number of kills. Don't, don't take me off the leaderboard. Here you go. Perry, question about Texas. Um, uh, your state has executed 234 death row inmates, more than any other governor in modern times. Have you have you struggled to sleep at night um, uh, uh, with the idea that any one of those might have been uh, innocent? No, sir. I've never struggled with that at all. The state of Texas has a uh, very thoughtful, a very clear process in place of which when someone commits the most heinous of crimes against our citizens. They get a fair hearing. 
They go through an appellate process. They go up to the Supreme Court of the United States if that's required. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, very possibly the next nominee for the Republican president. And, of course, you know, in this country, um, being number one is really, that's probably going to be an asset to him, sadly. But that's probably going to be an asset.